Minaf 7 will get a new function designed especially for the multi-rotor pilots. It's called the Easy Tune and it's designed to greatly simplify your multi-rotor drone tuning process. First of all, what's the Easy Tune? Easy Tune is the great simplification of the multi-rotor drone tuning process. Instead of setting several filters with specified frequencies and types, you right now have only one slider that sets it all. And in the same way, you no longer have to set the D term for each of the axes. You right now have only one slider that decides on the D gains for each and every axis. Roll, pitch and yaw. The same goes for the proportional, integral, fit forward, rates and expo. Like 30, 40 settings replaced with 8 sliders. It's called progress baby. Enough Configurator 7 gets the new tab called the Easy Tune. And this tab has all the settings that are part of the Easy Tune framework. Everything is on one page, you do not have to look and you do not have to go to the CLI anymore. There is a general switch to enable and disable Easy Tune. There is a switch to set up filter cutoff frequencies. There is a slider for the axis ratio. You know how longer, then wider and how the weight distribution on your multi-rotor drone is set up. There are response, dumping, stability and aggressiveness settings that modify accordingly. P, D, I and fit forward settings on all the PID controllers and two sliders to set up rates and expo. On top of that, on the right side, you get the preview on what changes when you move any of those sliders. You know, just to have a nice comparison to the current PID tuning procedure. On top of that, to make the tuning process slightly more robust and the lower the chances that you will mess something up, when the Easy Tune is enabled, the whole PID tuning tab is disabled. So you cannot really mess the tune that much and modify the settings that you are not supposed to touch. Honestly, I can't wait to to find out what you think about the easy tune. I hope you will be happy. If you are not, don't be shy of suggesting changes. This is still the experimental function and we still can make this thing better. I know this is similar to the beta flight slider tuning, but it's not actually the same because contrary to what the PID slider tuning does in the beta flight, the easy tune in INAF is not only tuning the PID controllers. It's also setting rates, Expos, it's setting, filtering, enabling functions, disabling functions and in general greatly reduces the number of the settings you have to play with. Instead of setting 12 values for the PID controller you only have 4, instead of setting multiple filters and their configuration you have one simple slider and D rates and the expo on all the axes are also driven by only two sliders. With INAF 7 you can tune your multi-rotor drone with only eight sliders. And if you do not want to touch the axis ratio and the expo, it's basically only six. You do have to admit that it's much simpler than before, especially because we added a very nice explanation of which option does exactly what. You know, we are thinking about you all the time. Now, drop in the comments on what you think about the INAF and the development that we are doing over there. Are we going in the right direction or not really? Please write some pros, cons or just share some thoughts. Thank you, your feedback is greatly appreciated. There will be more videos about INAF in the future, but if you want to be notified about them, please do subscribe and enable the notifications. Here's the next video you should watch. In the meantime, this was the FPV University. I'm Paweł Spychalski. Thank you very much for watching and, like always, happy flying!